Geschichte. You are welcome. Before we begin today's tutorial, please find the link above to download and subscribe to Filmora Wondership. It comes with a special discount for you. Enjoy. Begin by dragging a picture onto the timeline to use as the background. Extend it as needed. Then, right-click on the image and select Crop to Fit. After that, right-click on the left side of the timeline to open the Track Manager and add nine more video tracks above the current one. Obviously, there are now 10 video tracks as shown. I dragged a picture onto the 10th track and extended it to 14 seconds as shown. Afterward, I clicked the crop icon above the timeline, then selected the 1 1 aspect ratio for a square frame and applied it. Next, I clicked on the image, went up to scale it down to 50 as shown. Then I went to the effects tab, searched for the border effect and applied it. Afterward, I clicked on the image, then went to the effects panel to change both the start and end colors of the border to black. I also adjusted the border size to two. Then I went to the image tab to apply a drop shadow, set the distance to five, and the opacity to 100 as shown. Now scroll up and apply a keyframe to the transform settings. Then. Go to the position X value and type in minus 1235. After that, move the playhead to the end, go back up to apply another keyframe to transform, and this time change the position X value by removing the minus sign from 1235 as shown. Finally, preview the animation. For a little pop out, move the playhead to six seconds, then go up and apply a keyframe to the transform settings. After that, move the playhead to the middle, which is seven seconds, then go up and scale the image up to 60. Next, move the playhead to eight seconds, go up again to apply another keyframe to transform and restore the scale back to 50 as shown. Finally, preview the effect. Next, move the playhead back to 3.12 seconds. Then, press and hold the Alt key as you drag the picture down to the track below, placing it in position as shown. After that, go to the Media tab to replace the picture by dragging a new one down while holding the Alt key as shown. Using the second keyframe point below as a guide, click on the first picture above, then split it. Drag the split portion down to the track below and make sure it aligns properly. After that, preview the result. Now, move the playhead back to 624 seconds, or use the keyframe point as a guide. Then, select all three clips above and right-click to copy them as shown. Next, count three video tracks down, then select tracks five, right-click, and paste the copied clips as shown. When you look closely, you'll notice that the pictures on track seven and track five are the same. So, I went to the Media tab to replace both tracks with the same picture from the Media Library. Then I replaced the one on track six with a different picture by dragging it in while holding the Alt key as shown. Also, the last split had an extra keyframe point which wasn't supposed to be there, so I selected the keyframe point and deleted it. Then I previewed the result as shown. Again, move the playhead back to 13.23 seconds, or use the keyframe point above as a guide. 
Then select the three pictures above and copy them. Count three tracks down, then select track two and paste the copied pictures as shown. Next, extend the background picture to match the duration of the clips above as shown. Next, replace the pictures on track four and track two with the same picture from the media library and use a different picture for track three as shown. Then, delete the extra keyframe point on the split in track two as shown. Finally, preview the result. Now, select all the clips above except the background, then right-click and choose Apply Compound Clip as shown. Afterward, I right-clicked on the left side of the timeline to delete the empty tracks above as shown. For the background picture, I went to the Effects panel, searched for the square blur effect, applied it, and then animated it. I moved the playhead forward by one second, clicked on the background picture, applied a keyframe to the blur size in the effects panel and set it to three. Then move the playhead to the beginning and set the blur size to zero. Afterward, I moved the playhead toward the end, went up to apply a keyframe to the blur size, then move the playhead one frame forward and reduce the blur size to zero as shown. Lastly, I went to the effects panel, searched for Moody Wedding Overlay 04, dragged it above the clips and extended it to match the duration below. Then I previewed the final result. Thanks for watching. The template link for this tutorial is in the description, along with a download link for Filmora with a special discount. Have a beautiful and lovely day.